The meeting, which took place in compliance with protocols of the NCDC due to COVID-19, had NIMASA Director General Dr. Bashir Jamo and his management team in attendance, while the Flag Officer Commanding Naval Training Command, Rear Admiral Frederick Ogu, led the naval team to the meeting. The FOC NAVTRAC called for improved collaboration between NIMASA and the Nigerian Navy with particular reference to certification and infrastructural utilization. The FOC also disclosed that the Navy had training facilities that were available to both civilian and military personnel. He urged Nigerians willing to take up a career in the maritime sector to take advantage of the naval facilities across the country. NIMASA is a very important to uh, my command because um, NIMASA is responsible for certification of some courses, some maritime courses. Uh, like Global Maritime Distress and Safety System, GMDSS courses, uh, search and rescue courses, you provide uh, certification. So I uh, will want a situation where we can collaborate so that uh, the naval personnel who train in these courses can get the global certification that you provide. Also, we have training for Electronic Chart Display Information System, that's the EGDIS. Uh, which you, the NMASA, also provide certification for. Ship handling in shallow waters and standards of training, certification, and watchkeeping for seafarers, STCW. The NMASA also provides certification for this. Boat work, power handling, helicopter controller training, and several other courses that the NMASA is the body responsible for providing certification. So we would like to collaborate with you in this area so that our personnel can get the certification that will help them after they leave the service or while they are in the service. On the other hand, in case you need to train anybody in these areas, we are available. We have the facilities, we have the equipment to provide training. He also called for harmonization of curricula between both agencies of government. In his response, the NIMASA Director General, Dr. Bashir Jamo, assured the naval team of improved collaboration. He also said NIMASA would also look into the direction of naval facilities and how to harmonize the training guidelines to meet the standards required by the International Maritime Organization, IMO, for certification. I can observe that you rate out what the type of courses you offer, but I think your curriculum uh, may have much more than you mentioned and then uh, we will be willing also to exchange our own curriculum for you to see the areas that uh, you may likely join us. I quite appreciate and I'm very passionate of seeing the interchange between the civilians and the uh, armed forces in terms of training because your cross-breeding ideas uh, the training is not only, uh, you know, uh, formal training in the classroom. The interactions, you know, uh, also go a long way for us to uh, understand each other. The DG spoke on the Deep Blue Project, also known as the Integrated National Security and Waterways Protection Infrastructure, which aims to comprehensively tackle insecurity on in Nigeria's territorial waters, an exclusive economic zone up to the Gulf of Guinea. Uh, the Deep Blue Project is one of the most important uh, projects that uh, the maritime industry ever uh, experienced uh, uh, in so many decades. Uh, we, most of the assets uh, that we have for the Deep Blue Project arrive in Nigeria. What we are left behind now is the local component. And what is the local component? The human element uh, that can, uh, you know, man those assets. So they are yet to receive the training. That underscores the importance of training. The technical aspect of the training, to acquire skill, to perform well, to meet the target, must be acquired. Introducing the new face of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. We are charting the direction for a maritime and regulating the industry for a better, bigger and more economically stable Nigeria. Evolved to serve you better. We are NIMASA. 
New Face Rejuvenated Service. Nimasa, changing the tides in your favor. As I said at the beginning of the program, we will be sharing some of the international conventions of the IMO with you. NIMASA, being the Maritime Administration here in Nigeria, is in charge of implementing those international conventions. So I invite you right now to please sit back and watch as we bring to you some of the key conventions of the International Maritime Organization. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, is a specialized agency of the United Nations that is responsible for measures to improve the safety and security of international shipping and to prevent marine pollution from ships. The IMO sets standards for safety and security of international shipping. NIMASA is the Maritime Administration in Nigeria, thus responsible for implementation of these protocols and conventions in Nigeria. While some have been domesticated, others have been ratified by the Nigerian government. Some of these regulatory instruments include the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SOLAS 1974 as amended, the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships 1973 as modified by the Protocol of 1978 relating thereto and by the Protocol of 1997, MARPOL. The third main convention is the International Convention on Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers, STCW, as amended, including the 1995 and 2010 Manila Amendments. Other conventions relating to maritime safety and security and ship port interface include the Convention on the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea, COLREG, 1972. Convention on Facilitation of International Maritime Traffic, FAL, 1965. International Convention on Load Lines, LL, 1966. International Convention on Maritime Search and Rescue, SAR, 1979. And the Convention for the Suppression of Unlawful Acts Against the Safety of Maritime Navigation, SUA, 1988 and Protocol for the Suppression of Unlawful Acts Against the Safety of Fixed Platforms Located on the Continental Shelf and the 2005 Protocols. <laughs> 